What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Fox Theon iGo 3600 portable power station. Taking a look at the specs, this has a 3600 watt hour semi-solid state lithium battery, a 2500 watt power handling with a peak of 2800 watts, built-in UPS function, a unique modular design, and weighs 50 pounds. So opening up the box, this is what the power station comes inside of. I've had a few power stations come with covers and bags, but this is by far the best one I have received and seen so far. This is like a very high quality material here. Looking on the inside, this whole entire thing is padded. So you got a nice thick layer of cushion all around. Got some more at the bottom. You got some more on the top here. And beside the main bag, they also gives you two other small bags, which are just as good quality as the big one. I'll go over what these are for in a while, but overall, very, very good bags to include with the power station to keep it covered and protected as well. So beside the bags, you also get this little pouch here and inside this, you have all of your cables. In there you have your DC plug. This has two DC ports on it. So this doesn't have them on there. Instead you plug it in right here. You have a vehicle charging cable, which also plugs in the same spot another DC cable. Then you have the charger for the power station, which is like your standard three prong computer cable. And that plugs in right here. Taking a look at the power station itself, you have a built in solar panel on top here, which is a nice feature to have. You definitely don't want to rely on this to charge the unit as that'll take forever. But say if you're outside charging your phone or laptop, this panel here should charge enough at the same time to offset some of the power you're pulling from it. Not only that, but if the power station is stored inside by a window, this will periodically give it a little charge just to maintain the battery as well. Taking a look at the ports, you have four AC outlets. You have two USB-A ports and a USB-C, which is 60 watts. Then over here, you also have two more USB-A ports and another USB-C, which is also 60 watts. Then up here you have your AC input to charge the power station. And then over here you have two more plugs. One is your DC in and your DC out. Everything is all on front of this power station. So the sides or the back do not have anything. But one thing I just noticed a little while ago is right here there's a little door. And inside this it goes up to right here maybe this big. It's a little storage compartment so you can put your cables or the power charging cable inside here and always have it with the power station. Coming back to the front, this is the world's first power station to have an e-ink display. You might have seen an e-ink display on Amazon Kindle devices before. And basically these have high visibility, high contrast, and no glare as well. So even without this screen having the backlight on, this is going to be very easy to see outdoors in the sun. These screens also draw much less power compared to a regular LCD screen as well. Like right now it's off, but this display always stays on. It shows your date and time here. This is updated through Wi-Fi, but right now they're still working on the Wi-Fi function. So it's a little wonky and it always shows the wrong date sometimes. But once they have the app out, this will sync to your phone because this does have built-in Wi-Fi as well. So it has a Wi-Fi hotspot. But as I said, that's something they're still working on. So right now in my unit, I don't have that feature. Another great feature about this power station is the battery technology it uses. Most power stations on the market use either lithium or LiPo4, but this one uses what's called semi-solid state lithium. Apparently this has a 42% higher energy density compared to LiPo4 and it's also safer as well. There's only a few other power stations that use this technology so far, but in my opinion it's likely going to replace LiPo4 as being the best kind of power station to get. So moving on to yet another great feature I like about this power station is the modular design. Typically, I'm not a fan of larger capacity power stations like this one simply because they are much heavier and harder to move, but this one solves that problem. So once you click this here, click that two times and it'll say pop up battery. And then you confirm that with this buttons over here. These batteries actually pop out. And then if I do that again, It'll ask me the same thing, pop up battery. So they need to fix that a little bit because it's worded improperly, but push that again. And now to pop out the other battery. So as you can see here, this power station has two batteries here on front, which are removable as well. 
By removing these, this makes the power station much easier to transport as they're able to divide the weight into three different pieces. So these batteries are both 1,800 watt hours each. And a cool feature about these is they can be used as standalone power banks as well. So if you're going somewhere and don't need the whole large power station, you can just take one of these with you and charge any USB devices directly from the power pack. To make things easier, as I said earlier, they not only include one, but two separate bags for these batteries as well. So very thoughtful of them to have a bag for that, then these. So you can just leave this at home, take one of these batteries, put it in this very nice carrying bag. And then, like I said, these are 1,800 watt hours. This is very small for that much capacity because if you're familiar with power stations, usually a 1,800 watt hour power station would be, you know, four to five times the size of this. But if you're just going to be using USB devices, this one battery alone is going to last a very, very long time. You can also use this with only one battery as well. So say if your wife or whoever is going somewhere, they can go ahead and take this battery with them, do what they got to do. And you could be at home and still use this power station with just the one battery. So very, very cool that this can all be divided and used in a few different ways. So this power station has AC charging of up to 2,500 watts, which is very, very fast and a lot of power. But a cool thing about it is you have a full settings menu here. And if you come down here to charging power, you can actually adjust it to any wattage you prefer. Like I said, it goes all the way up to 2,500. But you can also set it as low as 200 watts as well. This way, if you prefer a slower charge or don't want to load 2,500 watts onto your home circuit, you can just set it to whatever speed you prefer. Personally, I usually leave it at 600 watts as that works best for me. Beside the AC input, this also has a maximum solar charging of 400 watts. All right, so I drained this power station from 100% to zero and it put out a total of 2,886 watt hours. Doing the math, that gives this unit a usable capacity of 80%. Most power stations of this size put out about 80 to 85% on average. So this is right there on par with most other units. All right, so let's go ahead and test out the inverter on this. This is rated for 2,500 watts with a peak of 2,800. Right now, you might hear all kinds of noise. I'm outside right now and people are mowing their lawns and all kinds of things are going on, but oh well, we'll make it work. So right here, uh, I have some equipment as my full-time job. I'm an automotive detailer, so I got my carpet extractor here. Then I have a steam cleaner here. These are gonna put quite a load of power, so perfect things to test it out with. But on a normal situation, this is going to be great to use with, you know, electric cooking equipment and outdoor heater. Many things because 2,500 watts, that is a lot of power for one unit. So let's go ahead and switch this on. It's already on already. As you can see, this here is drawing 996 watts. And that's for the heater portion of it. So let's go ahead and plug this thing down here in as well. Definitely a very quiet fan. I wasn't sure if it was on, but I can barely hear this right now. So that's very good to see. As you can see, now we are drawing 2,400 watts. And since this is the e ink screen, as I said earlier, very, very clear and very easy to read. It looks almost like a piece of paper is in there so that's very good to see i think this is going to trip it because this is going to put out maybe eight or nine hundred watts more and we're already at 2.4 but let's go ahead and uh see what happens all right let's go ahead and turn that on all right so it didn't have enough power so it just shut off let's see what happens again so it looks like it doesn't let you pull more than it's allowed to. Because the heater just goes on for a few seconds, then it shuts off. So very cool that it has that fail safe protection in there. You don't got to worry about overcharging it. But yeah, it definitely looks like it's good for its uh, rated 2,500 watts. Overall, this is definitely a great power station that's packed with a lot of cool and innovative technology. I love the modular design and overall everything just feels very well made. 
So if you happen to be looking for a higher capacity power station, I definitely recommend the one I have here, which is the Fox Theon iGo 3600. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.